Hello and welcome to Learning Science. In this video, I will talk about the year to date DAX function in Power BI with an example. Let's jump to the computer for the demo. Here is my sales order report. My first line chart order quantity by month. So this is my actual order quantity. So the next one order quantity YTD. So summation of order quantity by month. Here I have a table month order quantity order quantity wide TD. So let me explain you here. For the month of April, I have order quantity 804 and my wide TD is also 804. For the month of May, I have order quantity 2045 and my wide TD will be April order quantity plus my order quantity equal to YTD that is 2849 and so on. So here I want to show you one more thing. Let me select 2018 and you can see here my YTD start from Jan 2018 to December 2018. So now let me select 2019 also. Now if you notice here. So for 2018 my YTD start from January 2018 till end on December 2018. And again for 2019 my YTD start from January 2019 and end. In December 2019. So now let me show you how to write YTD function. So here I will add a one major new major. And I will say YTD order QTY. Now I will use a DAX function total YTD sum of order quantity. If you see the first parameter expression, so this is training sample. This is my table data table name and order quantity is my. Column name. Comma now it is asking a date parameter. So training sample. Two is my data table and column name is month. Now if you will see here two more parameter that is filter and year in date. So if you want to specify the filter, you can specify the year in date is depend on the your requirement. Sometime it will be 31st December. Sometime it will be 31st March is depend on your requirement. So if you will not specify year in date by default, it will be 31st December. So my YTD is ready. So this is my actual. Order quantity by month, so let me copy this graph. And on Y axis, I will add a YTD calculation which we have done just now. OK, now I have added YTD calculation. Now let me check my actual order quantity for the month April is one. And YTD is also one key. My actual order quantity for the month of May is the 2K and my YTD is 3K. So 1 plus 2, 3K. So let me check for the my actual order quantity for the month of June is 2K and here it is the 5K. How? 1 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 5K. And so on. That's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.